Hey, this is Tickle, and in this video, we're going to be talking about WoW add-ons. What the heck is going on? There's been a lot of conversation about CurseForge, Twitch, Overwatch, WoW Up. I'm going to give you the breakdown. I'll go, we'll go from the history to what options do you have, and then what do I think about those options, and I will show you what happened when I tried them all out myself. Before we get into it, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Surfshark VPN. In today's world, your internet provider, your any public Wi-Fi you're connected to, any websites you go to, anything you say around your phone is being captured with all of your data kind of being locked and loaded or even sold. And a VPN is a way to avoid that. It's a way to shield yourself from them knowing exactly where you are, knowing your IP address, knowing the personal information they can gather, gather about you and put it together. What a VPN does is it basically allows you to go and be in any other country. It allows you, if you're accessing a website, it treats it as if you're from that other area. And Surfshark VPN has a lot of different servers available for you to connect to. You can be from anywhere in the world, basically. And as well as you can actually get more value, you can actually watch additional movies on Netflix. You're able to go, and I'm able to go to other countries and see what's available there. There might even be movies that are mainstream in my country that aren't available on Netflix right now that I can access in those other countries right now. So being able to check that that will give you more value to the products that you already use. And Surfshark VPN is the only private product where it allows you to use it on your phone, your computer, and all your devices that are capable of using it. And right now, if you follow the link below you'll and use the code TICKLE, you get 84% off with four additional free months tacked on, which is an incredible value, which we do appreciate. So thank you to Surfshark VPN, and let's jump back to the video. Explain what's going on. Uh, Overwolf bought CurseForge from Twitch, basically meaning that the Twitch application will no longer support the WoW add-ons uh, and, and maybe all the other add-ons as well because it's all under CurseForge. Uh, so what does this mean for you? Well, it basically means that the Twitch application won't be the way that you're going to update your add-ons anymore. So what are you going to use? Well, there's a few options. There's Overwolf, who is the company that bought CurseForge. They're going to be the people, and they do add-ons for a lot of different games. They're going to be the people that are going to be the ones to kind of own everything. They're going to kind of manage everything. They're going to have their app, which I'm going to show you how that works here, uh, to kind of control things. But previously, CurseForge was had a basically a public API, which meant means that they basically allowed for anyone that wanted to make an application to source their add-ons through that, which is why Wow Up exists. Wow Up being um, the app, the very quick application. You'll see it again. I'm going to go through that one as well with all links down below for all of these options. Um, you know, the quick option that accesses the add-ons just like Overwolf does, but on a much lighter weight base, using less memory, uh, being lighter weight, not being tied into all the other games, just specifically for WoW. Now, that may change over time. That's not really clear, but I want to just walk through and show you my review of each of them, as well as show you them so that you know how, well, what the heck do I do? Because I was very confused, so I'm sure you are too. The last option, the third option, other than Overwolf and WoW Up, is download these things yourself. Just download them manually and set them up and I'll show you how to do that as well. Now, the only other thing I'll mention is that CurseForge isn't the only place that these add-ons are stored. There's also other places like WoW Interface that might be growing in popularity because of this shift. But in general, my overall thought is don't freak out. It's okay, you're gonna get your add-ons and I'm gonna show you now the three different ways. Let's go ahead and talk about those three options a little bit more. Wow up. What is wow up? Well, wow up is kind of funny. A uh, wow up is basically just an application that was created by I don't know who, but it's a very lightweight application. If you go to the website, it looks very, you know, very basic. And the thing is, when you run this application, it is just an exe. It's just an executable file. And when you go to open it, and let's go ahead, I'll close it. I had it open. Let's go ahead and open it. What you're going to see is a warning. Or the, it didn't give me a warning. You will see one of these warnings sometimes if you go to install it or you go to unzip it. And you might be a little concerned. I mean, I'm going with it, but it, it is something that Windows Defender will pop up on some computers to say, do you want to do this? Are you sure? If you click don't worry, then you can launch it. Now, when you launch it, it looks exactly like the Twitch app. Uh, I was actually really surprised. All the same options are here. My add-ons were loaded. I'm able to use the drop down to click all the different um, versions of the game. It's actually uber easy and i think it's the exact functionality that you would want and you're able to search for you know uh deadly boss mods i mean same exact way because it's using the same interface the curse forge you know air a repository of 
add-ons. So it's very basic. It's you know it does the job. You, there is update all, which is nice. Yeah, but that's it. I mean, it's very straightforward. But it might trigger your Windows Defender, so be aware. So this is something I actually like. I like that it's so easy to use. It's kind of funny that if you search for it on your computer, you won't find it. You just at least I couldn't. I just have to know where this application is and like double click it on my desktop or in my documents or wherever I save it, right? So so with that being said, that's wow up. Very basic. There's no fluff here. There's no ads. There's no nothing. And I appreciate that simplicity quite a lot. Now to, let's go into Over, Overwolf. So Overwolf is an interesting is an interesting beast. I went to install it, and some people had told me that there was a cons they had concerns because of the ads. People said that it was inundated with ads. And to be honest, I used to use Overwolf. I think it was back in Cata. I don't know why it was like an in the in game app. So what I've done so far is I basically just installed it and I've explored it a little bit. And basically, Overwolf is bigger than World of Warcraft. It is multiple games. It's mul you know, there's multiple apps you can basically get. Um, and so the one that I went for was the Curse Forge one for WoW. And if you go to like their, uh, if you you know, there's a lot of stuff on here, honestly. Uh, you know, across a lot of different games. But of course, we only care about WoW, right? And and to be honest, it's not overwhelming. But if you even browse by the game, WoW isn't even listed there, right? Uh, it's not it's not even listed there. You have to go under View All, and then you'll find it down here, right? So then you're able to, you, to install this Curse Forge uh, kind of app, and then you can launch it. When you launch it, it basically launches the program. This is basically the Twitch app. I mean, this is again the exact same thing as Wow Up. It's the exact same thing as the Twitch add-on. The interface is identical. This one is a little bit more touchy-feely nice, but to be frank, it's exactly the same. So my add-ons, you're able to see all the add-ons. You're not, uh, you update all, all that stuff. So it's exactly the same experience. Now, I haven't had any issues with ads. The only thing I will say is that when I looked at the private privacy policy, first of all, Wow Up has none because, and, and whether that's good or bad, I don't know, but it's just like an application somebody built. It looks like, like very quickly and just to get the job done. Overwolf, I looked at the privacy policy because people were saying that they like take your data, it's malware, it's crazy third party stuff. I looked at it and I did see that there was a lot of references to personal data ref I mean I just control F and search by personal data and it was all there was a lot of them I, I don't know legalese uh, we'd have to I'd have to ask a lawyer to get their professional advice right but in reality I understand that most things are sucking data and that's why you know kind of funny with the VPN sponsor today right so that is just uh, I mean I, I'm not 100% comfortable with Overwolf because of that. Uh, but to be frank, it's such a big beast now. I almost expect that the Twitch app had something similar with it. So uh, I, I don't haven't had any issues. I don't have any complaints about Overwolf. It's pretty slick. I don't have any complaints about Wow Up. Wow Up is just funny because of how I mean, just to the bone it is. I mean, it's just like just the get the job done for WoW while Overwolf is a lot of other things. So I have I don't really have any complaints about either, but I want to show you the other way, which is how do you install add-ons if you don't want to use any of these things at all? Well, there's a WoWhead article and I'll link it below. It tells you basically how to do it. Um, and I can basically show you as well because it's important to understand that it's not necessary to use all those applications as kind of overhead, right? And I don't want to, I wouldn't need to install Overwolf. I wouldn't need to install WoW Up or anything. Basically what you would do is we'll just use this as an example, Deadly Boss Mods. I would just click download. When you click download, it'll say it's going to begin or click here. That will download the application or it'll download a folder, right? What you then need to do is you need to right click that downloaded folder and unzip it. You need to unzip it to your WoW directory, wherever that is. Go into the, whatever the version of the game is that you're doing. I'm going to be doing it on retail because that's going to, you know, that's Shadowlands. Interface, add-ons, and then stop. Select the folder. It's going to look some path like this. And then click extract. Then you're done. That's it. I'm going to replace the old files because it was probably an older version. And there, I didn't use any of the ad. I didn't use any of the applications. I didn't install anything. They didn't steal my information, right? Or any threat, right? You can manually download these. I don't know if this, I mean, I would assume that this is going to continue to be able to be manually downloaded because I see that this is also the Twitch and this is probably also purchased by Overwolf. But I definitely think that if you're worried about either one, just individually download them. I know some people run a ton of add-ons, but if you're only using like, you know, a few, a handful, it's just easier. You don't have to worry about any of the applications. And if you want to go for the other two, I think they're both 
good options. I don't have any complaints about either. Wow Up definitely seems like the quick and dirty option though, uh, and the fast one. So, so that being said, I wanted to give you a little bit of the history, some of the things I've been hearing, and I wanted to show you each of the three options that you have. Uh, I, I hope that you guys kind of take away from this uh, something. I hope you guys kind of like chill out. I hope this helps you understand the situation of what's going on and the transition and the fact that you will still have add-ons tomorrow and that it will be okay. And these are some different options for you. So with that being said, we'll see you on the stream or in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to the Patreons and the Twitch subs. I love you guys and everybody else too. You're loved too. We'll see you in the next stream, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.